Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the last in our series of tutorials and I've saved the hardest till last basically. It's air to air refueling. This is literally the first time I've tried it. I'm on such a tight schedule at the moment, we're not going to have a chance to practice this. So, I don't know, fingers crossed. Right, so what we're going to do, find the tanker, find the tanker. He's on 11 Yankee, so Takan uh, on the DED here. So we're going to go Takan ILS. I'm going to go Takan uh, air to air transmit receive. So uh, we're going to go to the Dobber right. And again, air to air transmit receive. We're going to go dobber down. We're going to go uh, channel 11. So 11, enter. And now we need to change the X ray here to Yankees. So that is with zero here. What I should say is the name of the station there. It just appears to be bugged at the moment. So just ignore that. Uh, right, HSI. To, oh, look at that. It's on my Twitter. Oh, no. TACAM mode. He's off to my left at, wow, 47 miles. Jesus. Right. I'm going to go and burn some gas off and I'll catch you back up once I am uh, 47 miles. Okay, update, 32 nautical away. He's actually slightly really to our right there. I've got my fire control, radar, fire control radar up and running. I can just get a lock on him. Look, I'll just get a, uh, a SAM on him. So it's one TMS up. Got him locked, he's moving right to left. Visual now, so I'm gonna cancel the lock TMS down. What I'm gonna do is get my port ready for refueling. Usually you do this later, but it's just to help you remember. Next, I'm gonna contact him on the radio. Now, it's important that I'm showing the method with easy communications turned on, so it's easy to communicate with him. If, oh God, my bingo is just gone, uh, I'm okay. But if you are communicating on a server where easy communications is off, you will have to contact him properly through the proper radio through COM1 or COM2, and I've got a video on how to do that, but we're not gonna do that today. So I'm just gonna press the basic communications channel here, tanker, intended refuel, gonna get some data from him. told him it's 7,000 ASL. We can re ready pre-contact, but we have to be right next to him, behind him to do that. The next thing we have to do is basically get in formation with him, uh, which we're going to do next. You can see we've got visual now. I think he's on a hot to left aspect. Double check here. There are three indicators for our air to air refueling port. It's currently ready, blue. We'll get also assigned when we're taking on fuel and the probe is in, and we'll also get assigned when the probe is taken away because we can't see it. It's gonna be behind our head. Uh, this is, uh, guys, confirm, although I've flown in formation with the tanker to have a look at the signs, confirm I haven't actually done a re to air to air refuel. Correct. Thank you. Taking that long, so it seems really unrealistic, but never mind, it's all good, RC. Uh, right, uh, so here we go, is nothing. I'm going to turn my controls on here. Now, we want to avoid this guy's uh, jet wash, his wake, so. What I should say is that I'm usually, and I don't know if this is proper etiquette, but I would usually come from down here and I would get myself in, learn in, uh, in line in terms laterally and so I can come up between the two main kind of jet wash areas. Up I come in the middle because what I don't want to do is get tossed around by his jet wash. Just matching speed now. Now because it's going to be re relatively slow and I'm relatively clean, this is only if you're clean this is a problem. Um, this jet is too actually too fast to do this. We don't have enough throttle authority. So what I'm going to do, because I am so clean and so slow, I'm going to have my air brake slightly out. It's going to help give me a little bit more friction. Therefore, I can use a bit more engine. Therefore, I've got a bit more control and control we need. Again, it's probably not product, proper etiquette, but you know you do what you need to do at the end of the day. Right. I may look like I know what I'm doing, but I honestly have no idea. We're going to feel our way around this. And it is very worrying seeing that probe there. What I need to get to you is what we just looked at is the light. So I'm going to pause there, guys. Sorry. Pausing the server there. Uh, right. Uh, sorry, I just realised I've got to uh, ready pre-contact my dad. So I'm just going to back off a tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to ready pre-contact up there. Ready pre-contact. Basically tells him that I'm ready. Clear contact. Okay, I'm going to get in line again and uh, show you his lights. Oh, nerves. All them nerves and thing. Okay, I'm just going to pause there, guys. Right, so we've got two racks of lights. Uh, we're just looking at this. We've got the ones on the left show our uh, our height in relation to our ideal position. So we've got up means that we need to push up. Down means that we need to push down. And you can see, obviously, we want to keep that light in the middle. 
And we've got exactly the same thing for forwards and aft. So forwards, so that's showing I want to go forwards with that mark there. If it was back there, I want to go aft. So the idea is to fly to get that guy in the middle, that guy in the middle. Uh, I, I presume he's going to connect himself after that again. We're going to uh, find out. Uh, rather than me try and really tell you how I'm going to do this in terms of throttle movements and stick movements, the best thing is I just show you. So you can see exactly what I'm doing there and there. And it's all going to be about small movements and avoiding PIO, pilot induced oscillation PIO is caused by overcorrection, roll or pitch or throttle or anything. Uh, so it's all about dampening down your natural reactions. If you can do that, it will help you avoid PIO and we'll get this done. So let me try and get this done. So it's one of those things like ILS where I've just got to believe in the technology. Look for the technology forwards. You know what would be helpful, Onslaught, if you could F2 him and help me with because it's the first time I've really looked at these signs. Tell me if I need to go forwards or backwards. Just, I know it sounds stupid, but... I'm, I'm not actually in the... What the... <laughs> so, uh... You need to go down a little bit. Is that... Am I taking... Ah! You're close. You need to go back. This is not easy. Not easy, boys. Oh, looks like they got... Is he on or not? It looks like it. Hang on. I've got a little. Yep, you've got contact. Thank you very much. Yep. How are your lights? Yeah, I'm good. I'm green. I'm taking fuel. Uh, and right. don't cable cap. <laughs> Is he on? Is he on? Yep. Oh. Need to speed up. Up. Oh, uh, he just is. Damn it. Looks like he's on attack again. Problem is, I'm having trouble reading, uh, interpreting the lights. They're almost kind of back to front. So every time I see it going forward, I go backwards, and it's like, I think you've really got to train at this. Am I taking gas, guys? It looks like you're con you're you're connected. Roger, my light's green. Is am I too far back or am I too far? It's so hard to. You're fine, right where you're at. Roger. Hold ah, that. down, 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 down. I wish I knew how much fuel. There's no way. There's no way I can look at my oh, fuel gauge. Oh, okay. So there is a trick to that. Send. Um, if you go to your, you can't do it because you're flying. But if you go to your fuel, your bingo fuel page, you can turn on the DED to HUD. You oh, can see your nice. Fuel HUD. Right. So you can see the fuel on the HUD. Nice. Yep. Forgot about that. Wish I knew how much fuel you're giving me. Is he in? Yep. To look, uh, yeah. To, I can look at my lights, but if I do that, oh, okay, that's a bit better. Yeah, okay. I've got everything now. Transfer complete. Woohoo! Transfer connected. complete. Transfer okay. complete. Oh, that feels good. I know that was ugly, and um, apologies not being more professional, but. Uh, it's just how things are at the moment. That was generally my first go at that, wasn't it? And I'm absolutely, to be yep. honest, over the moon. It was good. Um, it was a good job. I really thought it was going to be too sensitive, this plane, to do it. So I'm really chuffed with that. When you're finished, don't forget to contact the tank car, I should say. Uh, oh, uh, I don't need to because it's already completed. Sorry. I was going to say, if I if I bought halfway through, you have to go back there and abort. Are you going to have a go, RC? I'm going to give it a try. All right, I'm going to go and watch RC. While RC refuels, I'm just going to show how to put the fuel amount on the screen. We want this one here, DED data, on in the hard panel. We want list. We want uh, two for bingo. And then what you can see is that you get the fuel amount, albeit a little low down, down there. And that is going to be invaluable when air-to-air -air refueling. Another thing I just thought, if you don't know the TACAN or the radio frequency of the tanker, left alt and bravo brings the uh, mission briefing up and the mission maker would usually put in that information. I haven't put it here because it's just a quick temporary mission. I haven't even saved it properly. I hope that helps to see you later.